Hey guys, Nick here with TechOr Duo. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you my favorite uninstaller. So um, this program is called Rebo Uninstaller. What it's going to do for us is it it uninstalls a program and then it searches for extra files and registry keys that um, belong to that um, that item. So most uninstallers, um, such as the Windows uninstaller, leaves behind um, folders and app data and registry um, keys. Um, with that program. So um, what this program does is it removes all of that. Um, so this is called Rebo Uninstaller. We're gonna go ahead and download it and then we're gonna run it. So we're gonna go ahead and type in Rebo Uninstaller. So we'll go ahead and click Download Rebo Uninstaller. So there is um, a pro version, uh, but the I find the free version perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and download that. All right, so it automatically downloads for us. We're going to go ahead and set that up. All right, we're going to go through the settings. Okay, launch Revo uninstaller. Okay, so it's going to pop up, of course, with this to buy the pro version. I'm going to close out of that. And this is going to be up here. So as you can tell, it has all the applications that I use basically on my on my computer here. So what we're going to do is um, uninstall IOBit here. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. So this IOBit uninstaller was pretty good, but I still prefer um, Revo. And what I want to do is remove this one. So we'll go ahead and click on it. We will uninstall. So it'll create the system restore point for you. So let's say that if this breaks anything for whatever reason, or you need to revert back and you want to do a system restore, you can absolutely do that. So um, it's going to go ahead and ask me um, to remove IOBit completely. We're going to click yes. All right, we're going to let this go. Okay, remove successfully from the computer. All right, so now scanning mode. So I always pick moderate, and I suggest you guys pick moderate. Um, if you really are, you know, uh, have trouble with computers and really understanding them, then safe would be a good option. Um, I'm gonna pick moderate and click scan. Okay, so let's see if it finds anything. Not, it doesn't always find everything. Um, usually the, the uninstaller will remove all program files um, and registry keys but um, most don't. So let's see if this finds anything. Okay, so there it goes. It actually found a few things here. So this is actually left over from the registry. So what we can actually do is select that IO bit here and we can just delete it. We're going to click yes. We'll go ahead and go to next. You can actually select um, this computer part right here and it'll just delete everything um, just for IOBit. Um, so don't be afraid of that. So we'll go ahead and click next because it did remove it. And now here's all the other information. So it left, um, it left this app data folders. So as you guys can see, app data, roaming, IOBit, uninstaller, um, and it has a bunch of other um, logs here from other things that I tested it with. Um, even the program file is still here. So what we want to do is select all of this and we want to delete all of it. So this is all pertaining to IOBit. We're just double checking here. You can, you can see that by just saying IOBit right there. We go ahead and all of it selected and we'll click delete. Yes, we want to delete all of it. Selected, selected items will require a reboot. So um, that will happen from time to time. If there is something that is either running in the background or a .dll, which you know, normally happens, um, it will need a reboot to completely delete it. So we'll go ahead and click finish. And that's pretty much it. So uh, you can go ahead and do this with any other applications you have on your computer. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and actually clean up my computer a little bit more. Um, but if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And that's pretty much it. Have a great day, guys.